Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video today and today is going to be basically me going out. Uh, by the way, sorry if you couldn't tell, but I have some audio playing in the background. Well, enormous guys, he's doing a live little YouTube podcast thing that he does daily. Definitely go and check him out. Uh, him and Everyday Day Fitness, I definitely recommend those two. So I wanted to make a video. I'm feeling really good because my muscles feel a lot less uh, strained after those 300 push-ups. I finally feel pretty good enough to be able to do some little stuff. I wanted to go over some stuff about foam rolling techniques, pressure point techniques that can help you release a lot of tension in your legs. Like for example, I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, let me go in here in an angle right here. I have knots on my leg. Oh, they're, they're not really as bad today, but like right there. Let me see right there. There. Most of my knots have actually gone away because I've been doing this a lot. And I wanted to share with you guys like how to do that. Like how to like, I'm so excited because like, I'm just so glad that I'm over to soreness. I'm super excited to make a video for you guys today, especially the fact that I'm feeling way better. A little protein shake really quick before I go. So see you guys at the park in a little bit. We're not inside the baseball field because we have a couple people that are actually training baseball right now. Really dope, especially in this type of quarantine. People are still out training. Look at the guys on the skateboards. Look at that. They're training. Look at that. Same as us. We're still training out here. We're still making videos. We're grinding. I like, I'm going to get started. This is going to be my little warm up and then we'll get into some flips. But here's some quick little tips and tricks. Got you guys. The reason why I really wanted to make this video is because, well, for one, I thought about it. Two. I've been really um, thinking about how my legs have been feeling and about these knots that I showed you on my side right here. Like, especially considering the fact that I'm getting into bigger tricks and combos, all that stuff. It's really very, very, very important to take care of your body, whether it's running or any type of physical activity you're doing. So I figure I'll show you guys a couple tips and tricks. By the way, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm wearing shoes that are other than Ultra Range Vans. That's like unheard of. Basically a shoe that helps you with barefoot training. But I'm gonna start with showing you guys some tips that you can do for pressure pointing out and like getting out knots using pressure points with your hands if you don't have any equipment with you. So first one I wanna show you guys really quick. This is a really good way to get rid of shin splints too, by the way. There's a part of your body where it's a little bit of a open space between your calf muscle and your shin. You're gonna find that space and you're gonna go inside that area where it's the open space. And you're just gonna go and pressure point along in that area. You're relax your muscle, remember to breathe. It's just like stretching. So you wanna get that pressure point, like rub it out in the middle all the way down. For me, my tight spot is right here. So I'm basically just gonna massage it out in that specific area right there. So that way I can get rid of the tightness in that area. This is a perfect example for you guys. You can even do it all the way back up. And that's one way to do it. Do it on both sides especially. Even though my left side feels it a lot more, I'm still gonna do it on my right side because it's really good to prevent it from happening on your other side. Another way is to even do it on the other side. There's a way to do it on the other side too. If you have a knot on a certain way, kind of get like right in the middle of your calf uh, between that and the top of your shin right here. Same thing applies to that as well. If you have a really open knot that's very noticeable in that open space that you have right here, kind of rub out the muscles straighten it out like like you're you got a pizza roll or you're flattening out the dough simple as that some other good ways to do it is if you have a foam roller i'm gonna go get my foam roller right now let's say you guys have a foam roller like this and you're trying to get rid of knots in your leg this is going to help you with getting under your leg so getting the actual whole entire calf muscle have it on the side right here right at the end of where the calf muscle ends so i'm gonna show you on a side angle so you know what i'm talking about so up to right about here and then all the way up so starting from here and then all the way to where the meat goes down off the calf so right there just roll it out and when you're foam rolling take it slow 
You don't want to rush it because then not only are you not getting your knots out, but you're actually tensing up your muscles more and you're not getting the benefit of it. So what's the point of foam rolling if you're not even going to take it slow and be patient with it? So just roll it out slow. And this is something that I actually didn't do. Twist your leg. Get the different areas of your leg. So when you foam roll one leg, go to the other way. Go to the outside, get the exterior, and then the interior. You can also do that. You can also go onto your side like this. That's a good way to do it especially. So if you have a foam roller, you can do this. Rolling it out like that. This is a very useful tool. Like foam rollers are very helpful, so not only with your leg, but your back, your shoulders, even your sides, even your neck. Like it's super efficient. If you're also trying to loosen up a little more of your leg and you're trying to get more benefit, like if you're done stretching, you can also do it for your quad muscle right here. Oh, there's a pincher roach right here. There's a bunch of them. Oh my god. Just roll out your thigh like this. And that's a good way if you have a foam roller. Now, if you don't have a foam roller, one, you can use a towel, or two, you can also use a baseball or a tennis ball, or even a golf ball if you have one. I have a baseball with me. So, a good way for the baseball, there is a lot of pitcher roaches here. It's getting me a little paranoid. But anyways, I'm gonna scoot up closer. This area is good. But a good way to do it is if you have a baseball, you can not only go under the leg all the way like this, but you can even use it like this. Put the baseball under like this, and then you just roll it out on the side, like how we did earlier. I don't know if you can see, but I'm rolling it out, lifting my bottom up in the air, and I'm moving side to side. You can even do the same thing as the foam roller where you roll it on the side like this, and then get the other areas of the leg. I say using a ball is a little bit more efficient because it's more smaller, which means you get more of a specific area in the muscle. So using a baseball or a tennis ball really helps, but you can use any of these tips to help you guys. This is my warm up. I really wanted to go over that with you guys, especially the fact if you're an athlete or something like that, or if you're just trying to really get into fitness or like some type of yoga or stretching. That being said, I'm gonna go and do some flips right now because I feel I'm pretty warmed up after that. Let's go ahead and do that. Also, remember to make sure you do both sides. You're gonna be well around, like just feeling really awesome in your muscles. Wow! Okay, I had to move spots real quick because there were so many pincher roaches in that one area. They're not called pincher roaches. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's ever since my friend said it one time, but it's like really skinny bugs that they pinch you if they get on you. So I moved spots real quick so that way I can not worry about stepping on any of them. do to end up my training I'm gonna work on some handstands so that way I because I've been really getting into handstands lately and 
working on my posture for handstands so I can hold it longer because I've never been able to hold a handstand longer and you get uh, some of you guys know that some of you guys don't but I can't hold a handstand very long very rarely I'll get like eight or nine seconds but on those right now so much trouble with my pelvis like going like that but you can tell when it's wrong too oh a little better hold on oh dang it's so hard oh, <laughs> oh man that's fun Okay, just a little bit. Whew. Dang. All right, guys, I'm back home. And uh, yeah, I had to cut that session, unfortunately, a little short. I started feeling a little soreness in my leg. I'm guessing after all the swing throughs that I did trying to do that one combo, I guess I kind of messed up my leg. So, I'm really trying to take it easy on that side because I don't know if it's the bone on the side of the leg or if it's like a muscle. But I just want to like take it easy. Like, when I did those couple swing throughs, I was like, oh, yeah. I need to take it easy off of any move where I'm going off of one leg. That's another reason why I'm really foam rolling a lot more now. Not just because of the knots, now it's because of that. It might not be because of foam rolling. My, foam rolling might not heal that type of injury. I don't know if it's like a, you know, a muscle injury or a bone injury. It could be anything. But cut that sh uh, session short. That's why I moved on to handstands. Embarrassed myself in front of you guys. But hey, you, you don't get better by not doing it, right? You got to try it. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to keep working on all this stuff. But... Definitely got to take a break on that single leg movement, like swing throughs. Unfortunately, it's not going to come anytime soon, but I am going to have a progression video whenever that might happen. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this uh, video informed you a little bit. I hope it was entertaining in some way. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content and more videos coming in the future. Remember to hit that bell button so you know whenever I upload a video. And I hope you got some useful tips and tricks out of this for foam rolling, stretching in general. Like just definitely give it a try for yourself. You can just use a towel, like I said, tennis ball, or anything like that, or you can use your fingers. Those are some helpful tips for you guys. Again, thank you all for just watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, broskies. Y'all have a good one.